What's up guys? I'm just a gamer and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, the Game Awards have announced their 2024 nominees for Game of the Year. And yeah, this is something I do enjoy watching. I do enjoy the Game Awards, even though there are times I disagree with certain awards, who they're, who they're given to and who's nominated. But I am excited and I am curious to see who's, gonna ma who's made it this year. So yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get into it. And the Game Award, the Game Award, and the Game Award goes to... And the game award, the game award, the game award. goes to. I've always found like the celebrities being there, like they never seem to ever really look like they want to be there. Celebr like the celebrities. So I always find it like, oh, just leave it to the developers. Journey together to celebrate video games is the biggest, most powerful form of entertainment in the world. And on Thursday, December twelfth, right here at Peacock Theater in Los Angeles, we will recognize the best and show you what's next with the tenth anniversary of the Game Awards. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley, and welcome to the TGA Global Nomination Announcement Special. Today, it is my distinct honor to reveal this year's nominees, recognizing talented game developers from studios big and small around the world. And you can help select the winners by voting right now at thegameawards.com. All right, you've waited long enough, so let's do it. Here are the nominees for the Game Awards 2024. For best ongoing game, the nominees are Destiny 2, Diablo 4, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and Helldivers 2. That's Their interesting. Best performance nominees are Brianna White for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Hannah Tell for Life is Strange Double Exposure, Umberly Gonzalez for Star Wars Outlaws, Luke Roberts Silent Hill 2. Ooh. And Melina Jurgens, Senua Saga, Hellblade 2. For the best mobile game, the nominees are say Silent Hill. AFK Journey, Bellatro, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, Wuthering Waves, and Zenless Zone Zero. The no nominees clue. for best art direction are Astrobot, Ooh. Black Myth Wukong, oh. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, Good. Metaphor Reef and Oh, wow. And Neva. Oh, yes. The best score in music. This year's nominees are Astrobot, Final Ooh. Fantasy VII. Oh, Re yeah. Metaphor Refantasio. Good. Silent Hill 2. Oh, and yep. Stellar Blade. <laughs> really? The category of best audio design. Didn't see that coming. These games are nominated. Astrobot. Yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Of course. Final Fantasy VII Reboot. Ooh. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2. Yeah. And... Silent Hill 2. Yeah, I can Best see that. Best adaptation recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds. Here are this year's nominees for Best Adaptation. Arcane. Fallout. Mm. Oh, yeah. Knuckles. <laughs> like a Dragon Yakuza. And that even out yet? Tomb Raider, The Legend of Lara Croft. I haven't watched that yet. For Best Narrative in a Game, the TGA nominees are... Final Fantasy VII Reboot. Oh, yeah. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Okay. Metaphor Re Fantasio. Yeah, Senua Saga Hellblade 2. And Silent Hill 2. Oh, wow. Games for Impact celebrates thought provoking games with a profound pro social meaning or message. Here are this year's nominees Closer the Distance, Indica, Neva, Life is Strange Double Exposure, Senua Saga Hellblade 2. And Tales of Kenzera, Zao. The nominees for best community support are Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy 14. Of course. Fortnite. Yeah. Helldivers 2 and No Man's Sky. Helldivers has been a little rocky up and down. The nominees are Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Of course. Helldivers 2. Yeah. Super Mario Party Jam oh. Tekken 8. Oh, what? And Warhammer 40,000. What? Space Marine 2. <laughs> Best independent game okay. celebrates games with a high degree of risk tolerance as they are produced outside of the traditional publisher system. The nominees are Animal Well, oh. Lotro, yeah. Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, oh. Neva, and mm, yep. UFO 50. Oh. Next is Best Debut Indie Game, which recognizes a development team that hasn't won a game award before. In fact, these teams published their first game in 2024. The nominees are Animal Well, Bellatro, 
Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. Okay. Neva. Yes. UFO 50. Oh. Next is Best Debut Indie Game, which recognizes a development team that hasn't won a game award before. In fact, these teams published their first game in 2024. The nominees are Animal Well. Yeah. Latro. Oh, yeah. Manor Lords. Don't know that Pacific one. Pacific Drive. I know that one. The Plucky Squire. Hey, Plucky Squire. The Got VR one. The AR oh. game. The nominees are Arizona Sunshine Oh, I don't know anything Reading, about VR. Asgard's Wrath 2. Batman Arkham Shadow. Metal Hellsinger VR. And Metro Awakening. For Content Creator of the Year, the nominees are... Again, I have no idea. Kiso, Ilawan, Techno Gamers. Typical gamer and Usada Pecora. I don't know Part any of those of people. Awards is looking forward to what's next, and yes, we'll have lots of games to announce on December 12th. But what's the most anticipated upcoming game? Here are the nominees based on currently announced titles: Death Stranding 2, All right. The Beach, Ghost of Yote, yeah. Grand Theft Auto oh, 6. That that's the winning. Android Prime 4 Beyond. It's GTA 6. Monster Hunter like, Wild. That one's mine, the but GTA 6 is going to win it. Nominees are okay. Astrobot, really? Prince of Persia the Lost Crown. Yes. Silent Hill 2. Oh, that's interesting. Star Wars Outlaws uh -huh. and The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Black Myth Wukong didn't Fight. get nominated for that? Selected. Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah. Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Yes. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Yeah. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. That and one's interesting. Metaphor re -fantasia. Yeah, of course. In the category of best fighting, the nominees are... Oh, Tekken 8 Dragon needs to Ball win this. Sparking Zero. Grand yeah. Grand Fantasy vs. Rising. Sure. Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, that's a good contender. Classics, multi vs. and yeah. Tekken 8. Okay, I'm about to say the Tekken the 8 with it on there. action are... Black Myth Okay, Wukong, there's Black Myth Wukong. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. <laughs> what? Divers 2. Yeah. Stellar Blade. For and sure, Yes. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Team. For sure, yes. Innovation in accessibility celebrates games that are making our industry available and enjoyable to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, the nominees for innovation in accessibility are. Call this I have no Black clue about. Six, Diablo 4, Dragon Age The Veil Guard, eh. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, and yeah. Star Wars Outlaws. Next up, best family game. The nominees are Astrobot. Yeah. Princess Peach Showtime. Never played that. Super Mario Party Jamboree. Yeah, for sure. The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. That's an interesting one. The Plucky Squire. Hey, interesting, but I don't think it's best family game. Are Age of Mythology Retold, Frostpunk 2, Kunitsugami: Path oh, of the Gods. I Goddess, still want to play that. Manor Lords and Unicorn Overlord. This year, these titles are nominated for Best Sports Racing, F124, EA Sports FC25, NBA 2K25, Top Spin 2K25, and WWE 2K24. All right, surprised the one three esports categories. The football manager one. Starting with Best Esports Game. I have no idea about these. Counter Strike 2, Dota 2, League of Legends. Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, and Valorant. I've never even heard of that game. Nominees for Best Esports Athlete are 3 3, Alexi B, Chuvi, Faker, Zaiwu, and Kong Kong. And for the Best Esports Team, our Special Esports Committee nominated these teams Billy Billy Gaming, League of Legends, Gen G, League of Legends, Navi, Counter Strike. T1 League of Legends and Team Liquid Dota 2. All right, it's time for our final two categories for Best hey. Game Direction, which recognizes outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction. All right, and this design. is it. Let's see. The nominees are Astrobot. Yeah. Bellatro. Ooh. Black Myth Wukong. Oh, yes. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. Yeah. Final Fantasy 7 Re Yes. Oh, and yes. Metaphor re -fantasio. Yeah, I've heard good things. And finally, our global TGA jury, of which I am not a member, has selected the following six games as nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards All right, let's see. The Game of the Year nominees are Astrobot from wow. Tsubasobi. Okay. 
Bellatro from Local Funk. All right. Black Myth Wu Kong. Whoa. Elden Ring Shadow Didn't see that coming. By From Software. No. Final Fantasy VII Reaper I think that's mine. Square Enix. Honestly. And Metaphor Refantasia. This, a lot of people are saying, are theirs, is theirs. So there you have it. Those are your nominees for Game of the Year. And yes, that means you'll hear the Game Awards Orchestra, conducted by Lauren Balf, play their themes live on this very stage on December 12th. But before then, you should head to thegameawards.com to help select the winners by casting your ballot in all categories. Also, stay tuned for the announcement of our Player's Voice category, where fans 100% select the winner from 30 nominees. We'll announce those nominees on Monday, December 2nd. The winners in all categories all right. will be revealed live during the Game Awards when it streams globally on Thursday, December 12th, starting with the opening act at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 12.30 a.m. GMT at thegameawards.com. Our team cannot wait to share our 10th anniversary show with you. I hope to see you then. And don't forget to cast your vote. A few surprises here or there, but mostly what I figured. Okay then, so those were the nominees. Um, let's see, best ongoing game. Um, honestly, I have no real clue about this one. Uh, personally, just because I love it, I've loved it, I've played it in the past, I enjoy it. I would say Dawn Trail for me, but who's gonna most likely win it? Probably Fortnite. I'm actually surprised Helldivers is on here just because of like some of the controversy that's been surrounding it and like the community has been like up and down on it, which brings you, you know, bring me, I'm a little ahead of it, but we'll get to, we'll, we'll, it'll get there, it'll get there. Uh, best performance, I'm surprised they separated this because wasn't previously, it was separated by um, gender, best female, best, best uh, male, but I guess just because they want to avoid gender stuff they're not going to do that anymore they're just going to put them all in one and brianna white good but i don't know if i would say you know she was the best voice actor in rebirth i i, I wouldn't even say that i think i would give that to somebody else even in that game within that game uh life is strange i didn't play it but i've, I've heard pretty good things uh, and people love the character of Max. Uh, don't know about that. I've heard a lot of people praise this game's um, Silent Hill 2 Remix version of James. Like, I've heard really good things. So, this one, I'm actually thinking might pull it out. Uh, I, would not be I would not be surprised if this, if this game pulls it out, honestly. Um, but maybe this one takes it too. Not sure. So best art direction. Astrobot's good. Um, Black Myth Wukong, I was surprised, but I could totally see it. It's, it's a stunning game. Uh, and like, just like the weird anamorphic characters and stuff like that is really good. So interesting. Uh, Elden Ring, of course, is a beautiful game, but I don't know. I think I would put Black Myth Wukong and Astrobot over it, art direction-wise. Because this is just continuing on from something that already came out, while the others are kind of, like, new and fresh. But, see how it goes. Uh, Metaphor, I've heard so many good things about this game. So, like, a lot of people have said that this is their game of the year, so... Again, I'm not surprised at all. And never, I'd want to play that game so bad. I've heard so many good things about it too. Best score in music. Astrobot is actually super charming and really good in my opinion. So I can totally see this. Uh, a, a personally, Rebirth would take this for me just because of like all those iconic songs and their remixes and the new mixes in them is just so, so good. Again, I've heard good things about Metaphor. I've heard good things about Silent Hill. 
I, this one surprised me. Stellar Blade being nominated for Best Score in Music surprised me. Not that it's bad. It's a, like I actually enjoyed quite a few of the songs in there, and they're very catchy. So, but still, like I'm just, it, it was good. It was good, but I'm, I'm surprised it was nominated. I'm surprised so many people like a lot other people enjoyed that music, because it could be it can be divisive. Audio design, um, yeah, After Box really good. Call of Duty. Sure, but it's been done before in my opinion. I don't know if I would even have nominated them personally. Ugh, Rebirth audio design is really good in my opinion. It's really fantastic. But this one, I would say audio design, like, I would say maybe Astrobot takes it just because of all the little, like, for me, it's between Astrobot and Silent Hill 2. Just because Astrobot has like all those little nuances of like sound and like the different little animations and noise they can make when you're like doing stuff and grabbing stuff and like going through the portals and you're you know the the like the, the sounds of like when you're like running across sand and stuff it's like you can like hear like the crinkling of even from like the little mic of the of the ps5 controller it's really good but then again I've, I've also heard amazing things about the audio design in silent hill 2 remake i so honestly it's between those two for me i can see either one taking it best i would say for me rebirth was amazing i loved it i would totally give best narrative to rebirth but that's just me i know a lot of people have problems with it but I personally adored it and loved it, and I honestly can't wait for part three. So, for me, I would say best narrative goes to Rebirth for me. Again, I've heard amazing things about Metaphor. I, per I haven't played it yet, but I've heard great things about Metaphor. Not really sure about Hellblade 2. Again, I've heard good things about Silent Hill 2, how they've updated stuff to keep it faithful but at the same time like they've kept it faithful but also innovated and like like changed it updated it to be better like it's i don't know i just heard really good things about the story in the game how they've really nailed it so best community support like i was saying before Baldur's gate 3 probably should win this just because of how extensive their like updates and patches and what they've added to the game is just redonkulous I would give it to that. I mean, Dawn Trail, Final Fantasy XIV, amazing community and stuff like that, but I would still give it to Baldur's Gate 3. Fortnite is Fortnite. Helldivers 2, this is what I was talking about. Like, I'm surprised this even got nominated for Best Community just because of, like, how divisive and, like, up and down the community for this game has been. So I'm actually surprised it got nominated for this award. But I get, I'm saying, like, for me personally, I would, I would say Baldur's Gate 3 gets best support in my opinion i've heard good things about no man's sky too but this this is the one that confused me best multiplayer because yes call of duty 6 of course i understand that completely hell divers 2 sure again multiplayer i understand it completely as well uh again mario party of every of course Tekken 8 best multiplayer? I mean, it has fantastic online. The rollback is great. I'm also more than often I'm having great connections, but it, I mean, it's still spotty here and there, but overall, Tekken 8 online is great. But best multiplayer? A two player fighting game going up against multi, like actual multi multiplayer games, like more than, like up to four players and more. So, I, I, I honestly think Tekken 8 is a little out of place here. I don't know. I personally wouldn't have even put it in this category. It's just weird to me. Not that it's bad. It's good. But still. Because e even this game has at least three players. You know, it's at least co-op three players. So it's just like, even though, even though, and technically, even though it is a multiplayer game, from what I've seen, most people play it single player and then they maybe jump into a multiplayer, at least from what I've seen. So again, this being nominated for a multiplayer is, it's not far-fetched, it's just a little, it's just, I don't know, it's just a little bit of a stretch for me. Just cause again, it's 
most people focus multiplayer, like single player on it from what I've seen. But again, even this game, I think is a better option than Tekken 8 because it, again, it at least has three players, you know, more than two players to play. So I, it, I don't know, it's just, it's weird, it's weird, but it's still, this, this category was the one that threw me off the most, I think, out of everything. Most anticipated, like, this is silly because it's going to be GTA 6. GTA 6 is gonna win this. I mean, it's just, come on guys really me personally wild wild is my ant most anticipated game i freaking cannot wait for this game again i've reiterated many times that this is the only game the only game i'm even considering getting a ps5 pro the only game i mean it's the only like the only game that's even giving me the hint of maybe wanting to get a pro just for this game just for this game so it's just again but uh, the GTA 6 is gonna win it. It's it's just gonna win. There's no way anything else is gonna win. Best in, best action adventure again. The nominees here are good, but I just can't believe that Black Myth Wukong didn't make it into this category. Because honestly, Astrobot. Yeah, it's an adventure game. I'll say that it's an adventure game. But it's still like. The, this, of course, Prince of Persia, Lost Crown, super great, super fantastic. Silent Hill 2, again, I'm... Yeah, of course. I just always thought it was more of a horror game, but I guess they don't have a horror section, so I guess they had to put it in Action Adventure. But, yeah, this is a, still a good option. Um, our, of course... And then Zelda, the adventure game. But again, just Black Myth Wukong not even being nominated to me is just insane to me. It's insane that they didn't even get a nomination. Best role playing, again, personally for me, Rebirth gets it just because I love that game. I think it's freaking fantastic. Uh, but all these nominees are fantastic. These are all great nominees. The one that threw me off is maybe the Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. That one's the one that was just a little bit like, huh. But overall, great choices of i'm if anything i'm pretty sure metaphor is gonna win it but i me personally i would say rebirth for me see best fighting game i understand here spark is even though it just came out a lot of people love it so i can see it maybe pulling out just because of like brand awareness of how many people know dragon ball um grand blue versus heard good things just not for me this is the one where for me it's between this and tekken 8 because i love tekken 8 but i also love this collection which I, I i don't play it on stream i played off i play off stream i don't even play online i just played the arcades just personally because i i suck at the games but i love this game and i but i i think if i had to choose i would go tekken 8 i just love tekken 8 and I've been bummed that I can't really play it because my controllers are all not really that great for fighting games right now. Best action game. Okay. This for, for me is the toss up because I really like Black Myth Wukong, but I also really liked Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade's action was actually really, really good. And I think it got a lot of unwarranted hate um, but if I had to say, I would say Black Myth Wukong takes it over Sailor Blade for me, just because there was more of like a different, you know, different build variety in uh, Black Myth Wukong, where Stellar Blade, you, you just had a lot of options and uses, but you more than likely played the same more often than not. So yeah, I would say Black Myth Wukong takes this one for me. And then I still want to play Space Marine 2. I've heard it's good things, and I really want to play it. Don't know anything about that. Best family game. Um, again, like, interesting. I could ask her about it. Because some of these are just, you know, they're not really for the family, because they're just really single-player games. But I guess they're family-friendly? Maybe that's what they're going for? I don't know. 
So best game direction. Uh, Astrobot, I can totally see. Uh, surprising. I'm surprised Bellatro. I'm not saying it's bad. It didn't deserve it. This is a fantastic nominee. But I, I was just surprised that it made it up, made it to best game direction and even game of the year, honestly. That's, that surprised me. But totally warranted. Fantastic nominee. This surprised me just because of like... Just because it like um the story of black myth wukong does feel a bit disjointed it does feel a bit like you're just put into these places and there's like no real context unless you know the story know the lore so for me this one's a little weird i'm i mean good great nominee i'm glad it's nominated but i just don't know if it has good game direct well because I, I guess game direction doesn't really is not about what i'm thinking of that's more of, I don't know. Still, a great nominee. I, I, maybe I'm just thinking of something different. Aldering is obviously good. This one wins it for me just because of like, we all had that like, how are they gonna play this? How are they gonna do this? And then, then the way they managed to like, keep things the same but keep it fresh at the same time and change things up but also keep it the same it's like they thread this line so perfectly in my opinion that it's just it deserves this award just because of how perfectly they just nailed that old and new feel i think that's that's my opinion again i've heard great things about metaphor and then game of the year And then game of the year, again, I could totally see Astrobot. Not like that game got a lot of praise, a lot of love. It's a really fantastic game, honestly. I have, I have nothing to criticize about it. I'm surprised Bellatro made it to game of the year. Again, just similar to best game direction. It's just surprising, but totally deserved. This game totally deserves this nomination. I've heard nothing but praise about this game, honestly. Black Myth Wukong, again. I'm glad it got the nomination, but I can see it not winning just because there were issues with the game. Some big ones too, but still, I would say I'm happy, I, w I'm, I am happy with the nomination. Elden Ring, again, this is DLC. I mean the deal it's a huge DLC that's like its own basic thing that has its own level up system its own everything so I can I guess I could say yeah it's its own game but it is still I guess DLC so I'm not sure if I would count this personally but I can see why they would I you know just because of how separated it can be from the main game then this is my game of the year rebirth I absolutely loved it it lives rent free in my head honestly i'm always thinking back on it i'm always considering going back and doing like hard mode stuff to just get like you know try to get everything from the game but i just haven't done it lately but this is my game of the year honest this for me rebirth is my game of the year and then again i've heard so many people say that metaphor is their game of the year Heard a lot of good things about this game. And yeah, those are the 2024 Game Award nominees. And overall, good, good. The only like a uh, category I'm a little thrown off by is the multiplayer one, just cause of like Tekken 8 being there. It's just, again, I love Tekken 8. I think Tekken 8 should win best fighting game. But I don't think it should have been the same category as like Helldivers 2, Mario Party, like, you know, just because those have like more than like three or more players being able to play. So it's just, that's the only one that really threw me off. Uh, and again, nothing against the other the nominees I didn't go through. It's just that I really don't know anything about them. But yeah, I think for me overall, I would say my game of the year for this year would be Rebirth. I just really love that game. I think they did a fantastic job again of like just weaving the old with the new, keeping things like 
same and like different like same but different enough to make it just work <laughs> for for those who know the original and those who are new to it and again i just can't wait for the third one i just uh i want i want to I, just give us the name give us the the freaking name of part three that's what that's all i want that's all i need but those are my thoughts that's my reaction if you enjoyed this video please leave a like or comment down below i'd appreciate enough feedback subscribe i'm streaming on twitch so please consider following me there at twitch tv slash just a gamer ink all together word or you can click the link below but what are your thoughts on these nominees do you love them hate them what are your favorites what do you what do you want to win what category well, let me know in the comments down below i'd really like to hear from you but regardless thank you for watching and until next time take care and have a good game